What is the value of C? Given that you have C equals root of C divided by 2. So let's have it to be solution. So we have C equals square root of C divided by 2. Then let us recall that when we have square root of A over B, always equals as root A divided by root B. So from here, we have this to be C equals root C over root 2. Then let this divide by 1. So when we cross multiply, so this will be equals C times root 2 equals root c times 1. So from here we have c multiplied by root 2 equals root c. Then to eliminate this root that we have here and here, we can square both sides. Square both sides. So we are going to have this to be equals square of both sides. C multiplied by root 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 equals root C in parentheses to the power of 2. Then when we have a parameter A multiplied by B in parentheses to the power of 2, so this also equals A square times b square. So from here, this will be c square times root 2 to the power of 2, as we have it here, equals root c to the power of 2. Then mind you, square roots and square normally cancel out. We have here to be c square times this, we cancel this times 2, equals this, we also cancel this, we have c. So this c squared times 2 will be 2 c squared equals c. Then from here, let's take this c to this side by subtracting true by minus c. So here will be 2 c squared minus c equals here also c minus c. Here will be 2 c squared minus c equals c minus c will be equals 0. Then what is common between this and this is c. We can factor it out to be c, open parenthesis. We have 2c square here, divided by this c, here will be 2c. Then here is minus c divided by c, here will be 1, equals 0. Meaning that from here, when we have a parameter a, b equals 0, we are telling you from here that for a, b to be equal 0, is either we have a equals 0 or we have b equals 0. For this whole of this expression to be equal 0. So from here, is either we have c equals 0, then we take this as the first solution, or we have 2c minus 1 equals 0. Then from here, we have 2c Taking this one to the other side equals 1. Then dividing 2 by 2, 2 divided by 2 will be 1. We have C to be equals 1 over 2. So from here, we have another solution. So meaning we have C equals 0 and C equals 1 over 2. Then let us go and verify this solution in the problem given to us. If it will satisfy the first and the second. So here is the problem given to us. We got the value of C to be equals 0 and 1 over 2. 
So if we are to check, we have C equals root of C over 2. So we have when C equals 0, here will be 0 equals root of 0 over 2. Then 0 over 2 is 0. Here will be 0. Then is it going to give us root of 0? So 0 equals root 0 is 0. So this satisfied. Then let us also verify when C equals 1 over 2. We have to recall that C equals root of C over 2. Then C equals 1 over 2. Here will be 1 over 2. Then it's going to be equals the roots of 1 over 2 divided by 2. Then at this point, let us recall that when we have 1 over 2 divided by 2, this equals 1 over 2 divided by 2 and equals 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. If we change this addition, division to multiplication, here will be the reciprocal. So here will now be equals 1 over 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. So definitely here will be equals root of 1 over 4. Now, let's simplify it further to verify. We have 1 over 2 at this side. Then is it going to be equals root of 1 over 4? Then we say when we have root of A over B equals as root A over root B. So here will be root 1 over root 4. Then we have root 1 to be 1, then over root 4. Then 4 is a perfect square equals 2 to the power of 2. So here we 1 over 2 equals 1 over root of 2 to the power of 2. This man we cancel this, we have here to be 1 over, this will be 2. So from here, we have 1 over 2 to be equals this side, 1 over 2. So this side is also satisfied. And therefore, we can declare finally that C equals 0, 1 over 2. Bye. Bye.